It's a costly way to save lives, but Hayes County says it works. Crews installed electronic flood signals there a few years ago and have seen a significant drop in low water crossing emergencies. KXA's Josh Hinkle uncovered what makes these signals work so well. Rushing across the low water bridge at River Road in 1492, daring drivers battle what the early morning rain left behind. The blinking yellow light on this bank is an indication it was more than just a sprinkle. It lets people that are basically uneducated about the, you know, going across the bridge not to go across. Robert McGregor lives on the other side, and since the flood signal showed up in 2007, he uses it as a reminder of the risk. Keeps people from testing the waters. On the Hayes County website, 16 pinpoints let drivers know how the water has risen across the area. At our crossing, it shows the Blanco River is currently flooding, sending a signal back to the sign for drivers. They'll always blank yellow, showing that there's water to be, you know, to be cautioned. The county says since the sensors went up, there have been no cars swept away from low water crossings here. The exact reason they got them in the first place after a woman died just over five years ago. This same river swept that woman and a man from their car at a low water crossing. Crews rescued the man, but had to send out a search team for the woman. The county says the signs are especially helpful at night when drivers can't determine the depth. It's, you know, about seven or eight minutes out of the way to go around. It's not worth it. McGregor says he considers himself lucky to live in the only central Texas county with such a system. At nearly $44,000 a unit, officials are searching for funding for additional warnings in the future. It's just a good thing that they have this here, and uh, there ought to be more of them. In Hayes County, Josh Hinkle, KXAN, Austin News.